Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Lauren Winter? Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What do you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? I bought ten minutes of your time, didn't I? All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. You want to pay me to tell you about my son, is that it? You can buy my body, Mr. Shelby, but my son is not for sale. Get out of here. Get the fuck out! Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. No point in pushing it. She's not going to tell me anymore. I didn't learn squat. Well, it's worth a try.
Lauren! <sighs> Lauren, open up, baby. It's me! Troy, what are you doing here? I already told you, I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, Del. But I really wanted to see ya. Open up, baby. It's me. Troy, what are you doing here? I already told you I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, Dal, but I really wanted to see ya. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found oh. it! Yeah, an asshole. <laughs> Are you all right? <sighs> Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks.
A body was found here on this patch of wasteland early this morning. The police are still searching the scene and questioning anyone who might have seen something, but no information has been given yet concerning the identity of the victim. Of course. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. When did they find the body? Excuse me, but who are you exactly? Nam and Jaden, FBI. If you want to ask questions, you should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. Pretty chilly, huh? Lousy weather, huh? Does it always rain like this? It rains every fall. Doesn't it do that where you come from? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, of course. I was just looking for him. Do you know where he is? Thanks. Is that a coffee you're drinking there? There's some in the thermos behind you. Help yourself. Sample of no interest. It comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body.
pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Barry coming. Traces of blood on the railroad track. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Harry comment, sample of no interest, comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Hey! You there! What are you doing? Lieutenant Blake? I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit-stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Kate seems to be attracting the attention of the media. Yeah, a greedy pack of vultures. These guys have killed their mothers for a scoop. Some investigation. We're coming a three-ring circus. Listen, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Well, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jade. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Unrelated to the investigation. Comment, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland.
Harry comment, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. Small wound on the right thigh. And the blood is the same as on the tracks. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. Heading back to the office. You stay in. No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too.
a butterfly. A fox. A crab. Blood. Blood spreading through water. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? I know he's really unhappy. He just can't understand why I seem unable to love him. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I no longer want to live. I have no reason to continue. Not even for your son, Sean. I couldn't save Jason. Sean doesn't need a father like me. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? No. No. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. Aren't you going to go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's going to send me home the next time it happens. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right. Do you want to eat something? A boomerang? You know how to use it? No. Not really. I can never make it come back. Can I give it a try? You did it, Dad! 
Do you want to give it a try? I won't be able to do it. Oh, come on, let's try it together. Now, the main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. Now, you've got to throw it straight and a little to the right. Now, throw it! I did it! I did it, Dad! Good job, Sean! See? That wasn't so hard. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah! Come on, Dad! Make me fly! <laughs> what about that merry-go-round? I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. Great! You can! Faster! <laughs> Whoa! I think my head is spinning. <laughs> Good training for astronauts, though. <laughs> You want to go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. You're not pushing dead. Why'd you stop?
don't want to play that game anymore. I'd like a packet of strawberry flavored chewies, please. Thanks. Hey, I got you some chewies. I hate strawberry. Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. Like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. You know, sometimes I remember before, I mean, when Jason was still here, sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. One, please. That's a dollar.
I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. Oh, cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no. No, it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get them well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press they're all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. No, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden.
body of Jeremy Bowles was found this morning on a patch of wasteland in the East End at about 6.30 a.m., five days after he was reported missing. An autopsy will be conducted tomorrow to determine the exact cause of death, but going from first indications, it would seem that he drowned. The state in which the body was found suggests the methodology of the origami killer. The investigation should confirm this in the coming days. The police are continuing to work around the clock to find the murderer as quickly as possible. I'll field some questions. Yes. You said the methodology indicated another victim for the origami killer. Can you be more specific? An origami figure was found in the victim's hand, and an orchid was placed on his chest. His face was covered with mud, but there were no visible traces of violence to the body. Go ahead. Uh, the Zodiac Killer was never identified. Perhaps the origami killer wouldn't have been found either. I don't think there's much chance of that. For the moment, the killer may think he's invulnerable, but in the end he'll make a mistake and we'll be there to arrest him. Yes. No. Yeah, he has not made contact in any way, and we have only the murders to help us understand his motives. Yes. What's the question? Some people are saying that the police were slow to take an interest in these murders because the victims lived in poor parts of the city. What do you say to that? That's absurd. The police make no distinctions between victims based on their social class. It is true that the origami killer seems to choose his victims from the more impoverished parts of town. The higher crime rate in these areas makes the investigation more difficult. Time for a couple more. Yes. There are rumors that the FBI has sent a profiler to help with the investigation. Is that true? You seem to be well informed. Yes, we asked the FBI to send us a profiler to help us with this investigation. We were planning to announce this in the next few days, but it seems that won't be necessary. Pure speculation. At no time has the mayor been involved in this investigation except to support the efforts of the police force, of course. Thank you for your cooperation. Captain Perry, one more question, please. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. This? This is my office? 
That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Okay, time to work. Step one, change the office. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between nine and 13. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned in rainwater. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. The killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geoprofiling any easier. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found, which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. The killer is white, 
aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. Harry, comment. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. This car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Hmm, a common species. That doesn't help much. The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Just one origami store in town. Here we go again. I better go wash my face. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marshall. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about...
5.30, I think. I'm not really sure. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. A brown coat. And a pair of pants. Beige pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? I... I can't remember exactly. It all happened so fast. You say you took your son to the park after school. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. find something? No, nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say, but it is a possibility. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? I'm sorry. That's not what I meant to say. Ha <laughs> ha